Hello, welcome back. Uh, we had a couple of battles this turn. Um, many of them look like this. I'll watch one of them. Here's Lombario. This is watching you from afar, hitting mostly PD, few units. We do Bless, we do Misform, and uh, in this case we kill the commander immediately. <laughs> Works pretty well. Most of them look like that. Uh, so just imagine all of these look like that. With a few exceptions, um, Promised Land of course is our big army. So no problems there. Nothing defending, nothing patrolling. And um, Bycliffe was the dragon. So again, nothing really scary. Uh, we also attacked onto Shinu's cab. So we are slightly more geared out here, because there is a lot of PD. Uh, unfortunately we get, like, super unlucky. Clear out the big guys okay. And then I'm not sure what happens, we just... We get hit by arrows a lot, and then something hits us for 13 damage? What? <laughs> damage roll of 9 plus 17, versus a protection roll of 10 plus 3. Jesus Christ, that's... Yeah, I I tested hitting Shinu's PD a lot. When we just had Frostbrand and Vine Shield, we won about 66% of the time. When we had all four of these items, we won every time. So, I thought there's a small chance that we'd lose. But we actually get bodied. I mean, we got immediately taken down to one hit point. <laughs> we killed like nothing. We did escape, but that's crazy unlucky. I'm wondering if it's maybe because I tested in neutral temperature or something and heat 3 blew up our fatigue. I don't know, but that was a complete loss, unfortunately. Uh, we also picked up a, an affliction. We got a uh, battle fright, which is really bad too. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, Parched Expanse was also unfortunate. Uh, a bunch of units were moving through here, and the the, the high quality ones as well. Dai Bakemono. We still do okay though. Lots of arrow fire is a bit awkward, but we get up on the big swordsman guys and just start chopping them up, which is, you know, somewhat heartening. We take too many arrow shots then though. We are on three hit points. Picked up. Oh, battle right here as well. I think this guy uh, routes into enemy territory and dies. So he does escape, but uh, yeah. Maybe I should script um, a shield as well. Might be an idea. Uh, so that was Parched Expanse. We did kill six Bakamuna swordsmen though, which is, you know, <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah, just a shame about the archers. And last one was Great Dunes. That went a bit differently. Uh, so this province had a Sight Searcher in it. Uh, which is not a province I was expecting to have a Sight Searcher in it. So unfortunately here we're not doing uh, Attack Rear. We're just doing Attack Closest. And we get stuck in this sort of awkward position where... He's casting Raised Skeletons and Raised Dead. No Horde of Skeletons though, so he's at Enchantment 4, since he can do Raise Dead, which also means he can do Flaming Arrows, which might have to be careful about. Yeah, just get kind of stuck here. I think maybe, yeah, we got 6 Encumbrance from Severe Heat. Might be affecting things a bit, I don't know. We've got Heat Skulls as well though, so... I suppose it doesn't matter one way or the other, it's always going to be extreme heat everywhere. Yeah, we get stuck here for a while though. I'll just hit N a few times. <laughs> and um, we're very sleepy. I think eventually we just, yeah, we just take one too many hits and that's that. Uh, so that one was Great Dunes. 
So also unfortunate. Um, besides that, though, we took the rest of the provinces, which is nice, including Bankish, which still had no PD in it, which is good. Uh, we also saw Shinoyama attacking Wood of Many Paths, which is this province. So that looks like this. Sort of bounced off a bunch of Vinemen. So, yeah. <laughs> Probably the panic is what really hurt him, <laughs> if I had to guess. Pretty sure the little goblins don't have much morale to begin with. Uh, yeah. So saw that as well. I think that's it for battles, though. Events then, Honoria, uh, one of the provinces we just took, has a Cave of Dark Rites, which gave the commander there the Tainted, Preven uh, tainted Presence um, effect, which just gives him bonus leadership values. So, okay. Got nice leadership now, I suppose. Uh, Soaked Earth, we got another undead event in this province, but it's the bad kind. So we actually got attacked by skeletons instead. But that's not a problem for us here. Light Hills, we got two nature gems. Sea of Plenty, we got four nature gems and three pearls. So pretty nice. Still luck from the Throne of Fortune. And uh, I think that's everything that's important. We did get into the Hall of Fame a bit, but one of them is not very useful. One of them is Precision. We could make use of that, I suppose, if we want to turn this guy into a range caster, but... Uh, I don't know. The other guy who got into the Hall of Fame got Tough Skin, though, which is base protection, which sounds more useful. So that's a nice one to try and grow, I suppose. See how high we can get as base protection. Ah, uh, yeah. But that's it for messages, and here's the map now. Um, what's awkward is because we bounced off both Great Dunes and Parched Expanse, these provinces that we did take are disconnected from us still, so we don't actually get any of the income from them. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, we needed to take one of these to have stuff be linked up. Oh well. I still need to take this as well. What we were really after though is gems from all these wastelands. And yeah, we definitely got more gem income now. Light Hills has Ice Brick Tower. There's a water gem. Plain of Memories has Grove. There's an H gem. Noria has a Cave of Dark Rites. Two Death Gems. A lab here as well. Bonkish has the deepest cave of the province for an earth gem, and a chitter palm for uh, a water gem. Arena in Bycliff. Uh, yeah, pretty good so far. I assume that um, Shinu has been searching these for earth, fire, water, and death. So we just need to walk around now searching for the nature in the air. Might be some nice provinces here. Uh, let's talk about what we're going to do next, though. Um, so first off, we saw, a bunch of uh, we saw a bunch of goblins bouncing off Wood of Many Paths, right? I'm pretty sure these are the units that were in this fort last turn. And I'm pretty sure they routed here. Because this army did not have any of these little guys with it. It had one Yari Bakamono show. But now the army is mostly Bakamono show and Bakamono archers. Which is these guys. So I'm going to operate under the assumption that this palisade is now empty with the exception of a few mages, because all the units that were in here are now here. Um, so that's nice. Uh, that means I'm just storming the castle immediately. I think it's possible he breaks siege into us and also moves all of this stuff into us and everything from his cap into us. It seems like a decent move. This is the most awkward turn for us because we don't quite have um, Con Conjuration 5 yet. So we can't explicitly cast large air elementals. I've got my air mages on just spells, and they have gems, and they're not on conservative. So hopefully they deploy some airlies of their own accord. That would be nice. But every turn after this one, we'll be able to explicitly dump size 6 airlies on the battlefield. Uh, and I'm going to feel super confident about all these battles at, this, at that point. This is the one turn, though, where I'm not super confident, though. I mean, we're probably going to win no matter what. But it would be a lot easier with Aerolies. So, I'm going to storm immediately because I think it's empty. Um, but I'm also just moving everything to help during the, uh, 
the part of the turn when we're still outside the fort, just in case there's a big break siege battle. So a lot of these Shelords are just moving over for a turn to just sit here with the army and help defend it. So you can see people like Variety of Patterned Outer are, are they're just with the army. There's like four Shelords here with their gear just at the sides. So they'll help out. Uh, I'm just bringing over the last few units we've got moving over here as well. We have um, a couple more Furbolg and a few more Dinishi as well. In fact, are there more over here? No, just cows. But all that's moving to Promised Land. We'll see if we get a break siege fight or not. But then we'll storm. Um, so the stormers are same as we've seen last turn, but the big difference being that yeah, the big early uh, big uh, casters are just on spells, and hopefully they choose to cast air elementals. That would be nice. Everyone else just attacks. I, I'm guessing that would it, it's not always you know it's not always wise to just storm blindly into forts, but I I think it's going to just be like six or seven of those uber mages who are mostly going to be D1. So a bunch of hasted sacreds just running up to them and punching them will probably just kill them quickly. But I could be wrong. This could be like a disaster. But uh, <laughs> I think the odds are in our favor. So we'll storm this. We'll move most of the Shelords over here as well to help during the Break Siege phase. Um, we've got two guys in Bonelands as well. The guy who attacked Shinu, yeah, he picked up Battlefright, unfortunately. He's on eight morale. I'm going to get him over to a uh, one of our healers to get rid of that. Uh, that means he needs to get out of enemy territory though, which is, you know, a bit of a trek just for now. Um, so both of these guys are going to move to Great Dunes. We'll try and take this. It would be nice to link this stuff up. Um, we're together so that one guy can bless us both, and this guy can do Sermon of Courage to get his morale up a bit, you know. Uh, and then they'll do attack rear. So if this mage stays behind, we should kill him okay. We'll just try to take this and get through here. And that'll be fine. That's four Shelords in Promised Land and two in Great Dunes. And there's one more going from Anoria to Lake Vastness as well. So this is one of the Shelords that took the Underwater Province over on the west side of our territory. He still has the Water Breathing Ring. Uh, even if he didn't, there's a lab here, so it's pretty convenient. Uh, but he can actually move straight from Anoria to Lake Vastness, so yeah. We'll attack that. We'll get these two as well in a second. So it would be nice to take these two. After that, it's going to be awkward for Shino to do something here. I think he... Well, I don't know. What would be better for him to do? What would be better for him to do? Finish sieging this and storm it and have a fort? Or just immediately start marching backwards? I'm not sure. But I guess we'll find out what he chooses to do next turn. I do also have my dragon here, um, but he's just retreating for now. He's made his presence felt. That's enough. <laughs> Spread a lot of dominion over here as well. Shinu's dominion is not exactly strong. We have a candle in Light Hills now as well as by Cliff. Bonelands is one dark. Lombari is one dark. Plane of Memories is three dark. Shinu's cap is only six. If we knock out a bunch of units next turn, it would be very, very easy to put temples in all these provinces. Because all of our shields can build temples and they only cost 200 gold, so... That would be pretty funny. There isn't much else to say just yet. I just want to see how Shinu reacts to this now. See if we pick up this or not. And the next few battles will be a lot easier when I can just say, yeah, everyone cast their allies. <laughs> Think. Um, one other thing I'm doing in Promised Land is I've bid on a mercenary company as well. Auto Bugger is up for renewal. He's lost one of his units, but that's okay. Put a 301 bid on him. So we'll also have Auto Bugger in this province too. We pick them up. we we'll probably use them to pick this up casually. Be quite nice. Doing a priest to troll on to put a temple there. And I don't think there's anything else going on just yet. I have the spies in Shinu's cap now instilling uprisings. I'll move some more over in a couple of turns. That's enough for now though. And I'm also forging another Fine Shield and Frostbrand this month. Yeah, in total we lost two Shelords doing this, but that's okay. The point of doing the Vine Shield and Frostbrand is it's it's probably the cheapest kit we can construct 
that's, you know, good enough for doing what we've just done. So we've lost one turn of forging and one turn of recruitment every time one of these guys dies. It's not a huge deal. We've got another one rolling out this turn. And we'll have another one rolling out next turn as well. So it's not going to be a huge setback unless we suddenly lose them all. I think that's everything I need to cover though. Just hesitating a bit because I'm the last person to take my turn, so... I'll just go check the video. See if there's anything else I need to do. Uh, and then I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Uh, first up, do not panic. We have been sent a large death basket. Um, I know some people who watch the videos don't like death baskets though. So my new policy is just get rid of them when they arrive. So um, I guess like two Earth Gems and two Earth Gems and a few like event items probably isn't a big deal. But 101 Astral Pearls is, you know, a bit much. So usually what I would do is I would just send all this stuff to an AI player. Um, there currently isn't an AI player though, I assume Arco goes AI this turn. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alchemize all these Astral Gems into Ur Gems, and then back to Astral Gems, and then back to Ur Gems, and then back to Astral Gems, until they're all gone. So you can be safe in the knowledge that I am destroying this stuff, I'm not keeping it. That's the new policy. I just, I destroy the bulk of Death Baskets. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's that out of the way. Okay, on to the turn. Research, we got some conjuration and Thaumaturgy done. This is good. Means I can do air rallies and some dust to dust as well. I'm going to try and get Enchantment 3 next, or mostly for Gift of Flight and Seeking Arrow. I think they're both going to be pretty good. Seeking Arrow in particular might be nice if we uh, start getting other players turning their attention towards us now. We need to start picking off commanders. And Gift of Flight might just be useful in general. After that might get Evo 5, I don't know. We can do Storm at Evo 5, which would be useful for doing Storm Power and then having more Aureli casters, but... We could also get Construction 6 and Forge a Staff of Storms, probably. I don't know. They're the um, provisional targets, anyway. Uh, some battles then. First up, Lake, Vast uh, Lake Vastness. So, just going underwater. I think there's like 10 points of PD here. Um, so... Yeah, we're fine. This commander got in the Hall of Fame this turn. Uh, and he got a an ability I was looking forward to, which is Heroic Quickness. So that's going to be really fun with a Quickness Bless. <laughs> it's going to be very fast once he gets out of the water. Also battle in Great Dunes. Moving here with uh, these two dudes. Who are doing Blessing and Summon of Courage. Does this overlap correctly? Let's see, are you both blessed? You are, okay. Worked fine. Uh, there's no Sight Searcher here though, so... I mean, yeah, that's... <laughs> what, how much morale did you end up on, even with the uh, 11? I mean, that's not too bad, right? Oh, yes, yeah, we took that too. And finally, we stormed a fortress. So, notably, there was no Break Siege battle. It was just storming a fortress. And yeah, it's pretty empty. There are even fewer mages than I expected there to be. There's two, in fact. Thought there'd be like six or seven. So, some animate skeleton and animate dead spam. And our mages do decide to deploy large arrows as well. Uh, which is, you know, fair enough. Probably not totally necessary in this <laughs> engagement, but, uh, you know, I, I appreciate that they're, they're thinking along the right lines. Uh, so there's Promised Lands. We did lose one of the Dinyashi somehow, but all in all, that's fine, and we burned in a temple too. Uh, also, Spider Battle in Arcacephaly. So this is Katiz. So Katiz, our neighbor, now has a big army with nowhere to go. Which is never good. The zombie does not have any mages, though. So, you know. This guy would probably be pretty vulnerable to a Seeking Arrow if uh, <laughs> it starts walking towards us. But, uh, yeah, I mean, as you can probably imagine, this battle goes in the duration of uh, Katiz pretty easily. So, here's the summary. 
Uh, yeah, he lost some elite warriors. But uh, otherwise, he's... yeah. Are any of you sacred? Oh, there are some sacreds. I should probably check the bluffs, huh? Which units are the sacreds? Is it these ones? No. Who are the sacreds? The big guys? Ah, the big guys with the halberds. Okay. Yeah, these are cool units. 21 protection. Bless is reinvigoration, magic resistance, and penetration. Okay. wonder if that's uh, a god that hasn't woken up yet, and there's going to be more to it. Or if it's just that. Oh. Either way. Uh, that is a big Katiz stack. But yeah, no mages or anything, just four mundane commanders. Uh, events then, Dovin. 420 gold, fire gem, water gem, and a soul contract. That's pretty cool. I've immediately just slapped that on one of our chi lords, because why not? Uh, a bunch of people have emigrated from Honoria. People here are suddenly very restless, and a substantial part of the population has left their homes in search of adventure and a better place to live. Uh, it turns out a better place to live is Plain of Memories, where 410 people immigrated. And uh, we also got eight earth gems in Barnkish, that's nice. Worldwide event, uh, the moon turned red for a night, an omen of misfortune. Luck has decreased worldwide, so there we go. Uh, we had a bard discovered in Shinu, but he was set to retreat and actually survived. So he's heading back. Uh, lost his character disease, recruited for Dobogat, and yeah, overt photography got heroic quickness, which is very nice. Um, so currently he's underwater, so his speed is halved, but he's, you know, it's going to be pretty fast, especially once he's blessed himself. Uh, so we'll, we'll try and get some more levels of this ability. That'll be fun. Uh, anyway, here's the map now. Yeah, let's do that alchemy thing. So we're on zero Urgem, so it's really, it's really easy to know where we are with that. So let's just, uh, let's get rid of these. So on the moment we're... And then back. And then all into her. And then back. And then all into her. And back. And all into her. And alright. So we got rid of those. <laughs> so don't worry about the death basket. I've kept the little like random items. I put them on this guy. So he's got like a helm of heroes and a pointless scale mail. Doesn't really change much though. Uh, okay, so here's the turn. Lots of grey arrows. Uh, I think our scouts are, you know, they're done in Shino's lands now. We'll go look at the rest of our neighbours. I'm going to be most worried about Katiz for a bit. They were friendly with uh, Shinu. Shinu was helping them fight Arco. Now I've just vanished Shinu. And this army's just sat here now with nothing to do. And there is another Katiz army right here as well. Uh, which is not good. So I'm slightly nervous about Katiz for a second, but not much I can do about it. Need to get this finished off quickly. Um, worst case scenario, if we get attacked here, I think we just ignore it for a second. Although our capital is going to be vulnerable then, I'm not sure. I think we're very threatening with just early spam, is the thing. Just if he's walking around with the stacks of units that have no mages, but I could be wrong. I don't know, we'll deal with Katiz if they get attacked, but let's hope we don't. Uh, for now, let's go over the handful of red arrows we have. Underwater guy, overt photography. Well done taking this. We're going to get white water next. Pick up some more experience as well. I'll try and get all three of these and then head back on land. I might forge this guy a few more little items just because I'm, I'm so happy with that ability. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. I could also give him the heart we've got in the treasury. We've had this event heart for ages. It's not a bad item to stick on a random commander. Why not? Uh, most of our army in Promised Land that just took this fort is just going to head straight to Parched Expanse now, and we'll threaten Shinu's cat. So lots of cows here now as well to help with sieging. Other than that, it's the same. I haven't put early in the script. Maybe I should. I don't know. Uh, well, don't doesn't have a number yet. Seven. All right, I think it's fine if uh, we waste a few Ur gems. We're making about seven Ur gems per turn at the moment, I think. And I'm leaving behind one of the Shi Lords in this province to site search. So he can move straight to Shinu next turn. 
and he can carry a bunch of gems. How are we making? Yeah, we're making six per month, and uh, two pearls. So seven ur gems. We can bring those over. That'll replace any we waste next turn. There's some kind of battle here. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all of the big uh, mages do full size earlies, and all of the smaller Ur all of the smaller uh, mages can do the small earlies. And uh, we'll try and just storm this down quickly. See how that goes. I am also putting some she lords in random provinces around here, potentially to just put temples in all these provinces. I think that's a fine idea. So I think we've got one going to yeah. There's one going to Plain of Memories. There's a she lord going to Great Dunes. Uh, there's one going to Bankish. and there's one going to Parks Expanse as well with this army. So yeah, surreptitious photography can. Put a temple there. I mean, that's only four temples next time would be 800 gold, and we should easily have that if we want to do it. So, yeah, I might just temple every province around here and put Shinu under siege and then just sit there until we're forced to move, see if we can dom kill him. Might go fine. Uh, my god is moving to Promised Land to start pushing Dominion here a bit more as well. So, yeah, I'll try and squeeze out his Dominion if we can. But uh, if not, I'd I think we can probably just storm this with a bunch of Aerolies, right? There are AO Onis. Those green units, I'm not sure what they are. They look new. I could be wrong, though. Um, maybe that's a summon or something. I don't know. But we'll move to Pirates Dispense. We'll threaten Shinu either way. Probably put some temples down either way. And that's the plan for now. So we've got some more reinforcements coming. Some more sacreds, quite a lot of sacreds actually. That's 22 more Dinyashi. Plus some cows. They'll be in Promised Land next turn. We'll move them in. So we're about 80 sacreds here now, maybe more. Plus all the she lords you want to deploy as battle units. Not bad. So we should take these two provinces next turn. Also going to move a guide to Cavern of Trog as well. Why not? Pick up some uh, experience here. I don't think it's under threat unless Katiz tries to take it next turn as well, but uh, well, too bad if so. And Wood of Many Paths is going to get attacked by Fordo Bogget plus another She Lord again, just to pick up some experience getting some kills here. So we've almost taken all this territory. Just becomes a case of how we want to deal with uh, Shinu's cap and whether or not we get attacked. I was also a bit nervous about Ulm as well because it doesn't look like they've made much progress against Ashdod. They have units just building up here now. I was wondering if maybe um, Alm might attack us. Maybe they've given up here or something, or made peace with Ashdod. I don't know. But I sent a message to Ashdod has asking them how things are going. And they said they actually just won a battle against Alm, so maybe Alm is just losing, which you know also works out well for us. Actually, one thing I could do is I could send a message to Ashdod Telling them that Katiz just finished a war and is Alm's neighbor. And then maybe Ashdod will try and get Katiz to attack Alm, and that will get them off our backs, just in case they're thinking of attacking us. That's not a bad idea. I think I'll do that after this turn, in fact. All right, what else are we doing? Uh, we recruited our first Lawmaster this turn. Completely useless. This guy came with water astral in nature. Um, these are paths we already have. I guess Astral is nice, because we technically we don't have any Astral Mages, but we kind of do at this point. Um, what I'm really looking for is a Fire Mage. I'm very tempted to empower one of our Banshees in Fire, because we have 50 Fire Gems now. Just so that we can forge... Because I think it's only F1 E1 to do, mind, to do um, Charcoal Shields and Firebrands. I'm not sure. I'm going to queue up another Lawmaster next turn and hope we get fire, and if we don't, I might do that. I might also just ask Ashdod if I can buy firebrands and charcoal shields off him. But it would be really nice if we could make our own. Especially if we want to go up against someone like Katiz, who's going to be just dumping skeletons into the battles. But uh, yeah, well, we'll see anyway. It's an idea. Not much else to say. Putting a temple down in Troll Land, putting a temple down in Promised Land as well. Uh, there's the soul contract on the Shelord, so good luck to him. Recruitment is 
pretty sparse. I'm getting uh, another Banshee in our cap, still getting Sacreds. Trying to get Shelords like back here as well, just in case we do get attacked by Katiz or Arm from this direction. So Terim's getting a Shelord and Ultima is getting a Shelord. That's all the recruitment we're doing at the moment. But uh, otherwise things are okay. It's odd that, that Shinu left these units in this province. I'm not sure what happened there. But I think the rest of the stuff just retreated. And this stuff seems to still be sieging. So I guess he wants this fortress. I think that's good for us. Because the smaller this army is, the worse it's going to fare against a bunch of Aralees. So we'll just try to get over there quickly. Uh, that's basically the turn though. Still installing Uprising now. This bard needs to move back over. We have another bard arriving. Um, and I'm doing a little bit of forging. I'm making a cat charm, which is a miscellaneous item that just gives you four defense. I thought that might be a fun one to put on this guy just to get his defense even higher. Why not? We'll give him a cat charm, the heart of life. And then maybe two more cheap items as well. We'll see. That's the turn though. That's that was 1026. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.